just a hair a little bit behind. I'm on my way to meet a subscriber at 9.30. We're gonna get coffee. And if she wants to be on the vlog, I will um, introduce her when I get there. But if not, thank you girl for reaching out. And I love meeting you guys, you know. Um, we also have to be careful because, you know, people are crazy. People are crazy out here. And also too, um, you know, we're still in the pandemic. So we all have to be careful, vet each other, pray and see if it's a good move to meet. And definitely did that. And we've been trying to get together for a few weeks now. Um, she also shops um, with Lillian. I think she said Lillian, but I know she shops in our um, Charlotte, North Carolina, Louis Vuitton store. So we always try to help each other out, you know, with bags and suggestions and things like that. All of us local girls. So, so yeah, we're going to get coffee and then I won't be long because I have to do a follow-up lesson, um, calculus lesson with Jada. She is struggling with this lesson. It is dividing polynomials. So I left her a review video to look at while I'm gone. And then when I get back, we're gonna redo the lesson. And some of you may ask, so I can teach math and anything that I think is beyond me. I can teach all subjects really. And anything that's beyond me, I outsource. So that's what we're doing, pre-calculus. I've outsourced it to her. And if she still is struggling, then I come behind and reteach and kind of tutor her. And then if it's still a problem, then I will hire another person beyond me to help her. So anyway, so that's just a nugget. If you're thinking about homeschooling or you're just curious, there you go. Um, so yeah. And if you want to homeschool your kids and you think, oh, well, they won't be able to get in college. Oh, they won't be able to. They'll be weird. They won't be, they won't be able to socialize. You know, it's not for everyone. It's, it's just not for everyone. Public school is not for everyone. Private school is not for everyone. Homeschool is not, it's not for everyone. You have to do what's best for your family. So, and we've done a little bit of all three scenarios and the last but the last 10 years we've just did homeschool so it's just whatever you deem is best for your child so you know no shade either way I'm not throwing shade on anyone or anybody I have some old videos I probably will need to update those so I will link down below some of my old videos and if I can find like some, I'm sure there's some homeschool 2021. I'm sure there's some newer videos out here, but yeah, I did like an overview of how to home through high school, homeschool through high school. So I will definitely link that down below if you're interested, but you definitely can do it. But you have to have faith that you're doing the right thing and that you can do it. I don't suggest that you start it all willy nilly, just oh, I'm put my kids in, you know. No, because the end goal is you want to give them a better education in your mind than what they were getting. Because if not, then you you may as well leave them where they are. There are huge challenges and hurdles. The social component is always at the forefront of people's minds, and it is. Now, because Jada and Jordan, I'm sorry, the lighting guys. Um, <clears throat> Jada and Jordan were there together and then they had three other friends that we were doing it together in the group in the homeschool group um, they had each other but if Jordan was a only child and Jada was the only child and things like that then I'm sure it would be even harder because Jada is the last one pretty much you know due to the big C we had to pull back a lot of our socialization um last year she had her chemistry class was in person it was hybrid it was in person one day a week and then 
online. And this year, she pretty much all of her classes are online because everything that she needed to take, if I wasn't teaching it, it was only offered online. So it can be a little lonely. She has noted that some days it can be a little lonely for her, but she works, you know, she works. So she has her work friends. She has her friends at church. So she's in a book club. So a community book club at one of our local bookstores is a teen book club. So she has those people. So she, we've had to reach out. It's not easy to get, you know, to, to get the friends. She had to go out of her shell and reach out. She had to be proactive as you probably normally wouldn't have to do in public or private school because, you know, you have classmates. So. But, you know, another caveat to that is I know people who children go to, you know, regular school and they're miserable. They, they hate the school. They hate the kids. They hate it all. So it's just whatever works for your family and for your child so they can thrive. So didn't mean for that to turn into an educational TED Talk, but there you have it. So, you know, because people are curious, not as much as they used to be about five, about five years ago. Like we, probably by year five, people started settling down, but the first five years was hard, 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 hard as far as the critics. And also, too, it was hard for the kids because they were young and they didn't understand what it meant to be different. They didn't want to be different. They didn't want people asking them, where do you go to school? Because they had to say, you know, we go to school at home, we homeschool, we have a group, you know, that type of thing. They just, they didn't hardly understand it. So it was a lot of self-education of the kids before we could even be proud of what we were doing and, and things like that, so. y'all, I just ran a red light. My accident now, and it means it. I was talking. All right. Okay, so we are probably about 10 minutes away, so I'll be right on time, like with one minute to spare. The traffic was pretty good, so friend, I will see you when I get there. Thank you. Alright, we're in here. We're in our first lot. She's not here yet, so I'll just go a little bit before she gets here. This one is not one of the newer ones. It's okay. <laughs> Alright guys, there's Brandy. Here's her food. Here's my food. And do you want people to follow you on Instagram? <laughs> I'm Brandy.N.Company. Oh, Brandy. Yeah. We love her. Brandy with an I. Brandy with an I. <laughs> Hey guys, I just finished with Brandy with an I. She's just cool, down to earth. <coughs> Follow her if you like, but she is going to be a new mama soon. So she is not, she doesn't have time to be on Instagram <laughs> posting, but she is a Lux lover like the rest of us. Love, she loves Hermes. She's into Hermes like us. Hermes, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, all that. She loves it all. Um, so yeah, it's just, again, one of the joys of being heavily on social media. I've been able to meet so many wonderful ladies, like-minded people. And, um, but yeah, all right. So on the way home, I wore my, ooh, I wore my blazer. There, it's, but it's only 66 degrees, but I'm hot. I was just telling her about these hot flashes, but anyway. Alright, um, okay. I'll see you guys at home. Let's get Jada all the way together. Okay, guys, I made it back here reviewing with Jada. We're not, we're not gonna get her on camera because you know she's too far. Like I said, we're doing polynomial division. But she's such a smarty. She pretty much figured it out before I got back. 
but the judge are bored. Hey y'all, I'm sorry for the lighting, but it's much, much later. Getting ready to do some work. Well, I have been working, and then in a few minutes, maybe another. Honey, what time is it? What time is it? Oh, okay. So another hour or so, I'm gonna cook. It's about five, he says, about five o'clock. So I'm going to um, cook in another 30 minutes to an hour. We usually eat about six, or I usually start cooking about 5 45 6 and we usually eat about 6 30 because you know i don't cook anything that um requires a lot of prep time and cooking time so um yeah so we'll jet is at work so i need to probably have something for her she went after we came back did math she went to get her hair done then she went to work and then she is gonna be hungry when she get back because she got to finish up her homework so I'm going to go ahead and make sure she has something to eat. And um, so she won't be on the vlog talking about somebody starving her. And we'll uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, we are getting dinner underway. I forgot to turn the camera on when I was looking, but we're doing um, potato soup, cheese. I think it's cheddar, cheese, potato soup. I'm going to put some broccoli. We have some sausage in here. You can eat that on the side. Um, I'm going to do bacon the sausage i'm just letting it warm in there i cooked it in the air fryer but i'm gonna just leave it in there just to keep it warm um i put the bacon right there so you can put bacon on top of it sour cream some more cheese if you like uh broccoli and that's that's it a quick little dinner um in the winter i like to do a lot of soups and chilies and things it's not winter yet but you know we're, we're in fall season so i'll start back around when everything's done Okay guys, this is it. Excuse the sausage sitting to the side. <laughs> I like that. I just put it there, but potato soup. I put broccoli in it. We have some um, bacon crumbles and then some more shredded cheese and sour cream on top. All right, I'm going to end the vlog here. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.